Well, Memorial Day weekend has finally arrived, and early trends show a historic number of Americans traveling for the holiday. The TSA says it screened more than 2.89 million people at checkpoints across the U.S. just yesterday alone. That is the second highest daily screening volume in the agency's history. CBS News New York reporter Elijah Westbrook, Westbrook is following the travel rush for us from Newark Liberty International Airport. So, Elijah, tell us what you're seeing at the airport today. Well, hi, Lindsay. Good afternoon and great to be with you. So right now we are live inside Terminal B here at Newark Liberty International Airport. And if you can get a, a peek here behind me, essentially there are no lines, at least at this hour. But the lines have certainly been fluctuating throughout the day. So you certainly uh, want to be mindful of that. Over at TSA, I mean, you're looking at maybe a 30-minute wait at most. So not too bad. But as you were mentioning uh, just at the top of the show there, uh, AAA right now is reporting about 3 million people are expected uh, to take to the to the skies uh, today. So certainly keep that in mind that you will have a lot of company with you as you head to your destinations. You know, AAA predicts this will be the second busiest Memorial Day weekend for travel since they began tracking almost a quarter of a century ago. You know, we, we hear yeah. even vacation inflation. What do you think is driving the travel rush this year? Well, you know, there's multiple reasons as to why we're seeing these numbers uh, spike the way they are. I mean, for starters, I mean, you know, this weekend essentially kicks off the unofficial beginning of the summer travel season. So a lot of people, they're ready to get out and travel. Uh, the weather is beginning to change and the pandemic is now over. So there's multiple factors as to why we are seeing this. And just bear with me as I look down and make sure I'm uh, getting these numbers right. Uh, AAA says about 43.8 million people will travel 50 miles or more from their homes this weekend, which is about a 4% jump from what we saw last year and uh, very close to what we saw in 2005 with 44 million people traveling. I mean, this is just the beginning. Is this signaling anything about what we might see this summer? Well, it, it's certainly setting the tone, uh, Lindsay, and that's actually, uh, you know, a great question. Uh, basically, you want to plan accordingly because a lot of people are going to be taking to the skies. The airports will be busy, despite what you see here behind me. Uh, a lot of people are going to be driving, so the roads perhaps could be congested. And the same thing goes with the rails. But, you know, after we spoke with some experts about this uh, particular subject matter, they're recommending that if you have summer vacation plans to start finalizing those plans, as you will have a lot of people uh, traveling with you and also uh, uh, prices are likely to start uh, ramping up the closer you get to those dates. All right. Elijah Westbrook, thank you so much.